What is up the world? My name is Austin Schrock. In case you're just tuning in, I'm a daily vlogger. I try to create content for you every single day on YouTube and <gasps> I had a great idea. I, oh, it's just turning fall. We got amazing colors coming in. Yeah, I contacted my friend who's also a videographer who also does YouTube and does awesome photography. Basically, he went out and got a really cool fall picture and I went out and got a really cool fall picture and then we sent them to each other, all right? Now we're gonna go ahead and edit them and then compare them later on. So I'm gonna edit the picture that he sent me and I'm gonna edit the picture that I sent him. That way we each edit two, and then at the end we can compare them, see which one we like better, see why we like it, see, you, we'll show you guys like the process, how we got these different looks, you can see our different styles. It's gonna be really, really interesting. I've never done this before, and I've, I've, I'm really excited for it, as you can probably see. Not because, not because I had four cups of coffee, that, that has nothing to do with this. So I'll show you his picture, and straight off the bat, like, hold the phone, this picture is amazing. Like, you crushed this picture, dude. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, hey, you said you were gonna do fall pictures. This isn't really a fall picture. And I completely disagree. I think it's a great fall picture, and it has its place. It's very good for transitioning between different seasons. And basically what that means is you're going from summer, which is warm and green and nice colors, and you're transitioning through fall down into winter. And you have very cold tones, a very cold look. So you don't wanna just go straight from that warm yellow red fall to straight to winter, that cold look. So this is a great kind of in-between picture. So you can gradually go from warm, use kind of some in-between photos, and then get down to winter, which is colder. It's his own style. All right, now here's the picture that I sent him. Now I'm really curious how he edits this up because this is a very moody picture. You have like the top parts of the leaves are really nice, you're good in red, or at least you can pull those out in the edit. And then the bottom is a little bit darker, almost a little bit more sinister. You could really get a really nice mood contrasty look. Um, so I'm really curious to see how he takes this. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into editing. I'll screen share it, that way you guys can see my process. I'll probably speed it up and then I'll talk about it later and I'll tell you kind of how I did it and why I went for that specific look. Well, first of all, my style is very dramatic, very, a ton of contrast, just like really making those colors jump out at you off the screen. Um, and a great way to do that is to go over, like I've got a few presets that I keep kind of in stock that I kind of know what my style is and I usually like to go through there and kind of see, that way I can find out sort of what look works for me um, and really goes with my style. And then I usually come in manually and just tweak everything and like change a whole bunch of stuff around, make it actually legit my style. I'm really liking the look that I have going right now. You can see the before and the after right there. Um, I raised the shadows up a lot and the one problem with that is it brought out all of the grass and the leaves um, right here in front and I don't necessarily want that. Um, I, like, I do like this little leaf right here though, but I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and uh, paint out uh, this spot right here just a little bit and I do wanna darken that up. I'm gonna leave a little bit of that leaf um, right there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and darken that just so it's less distracting because that that really throws my eye off whenever I look at this picture. All right, and you can sort of see what the before and the after of that is. Um, it's it's kind of subtle, but it just it takes away all of that, <laughs> all of that cluttered look. I am finished with this picture. I didn't actually like it was very close to what my taste is already. Here's the the before. Um, there's a lot of green. There's not much red, and it's it's really dark and uh, the after. Obviously I pulled out a lot of the colors, definitely the reds and the oranges um, and the blues. I really pulled out a little bit of the blues, especially on the left side there you can see that, that starburst, that just, that really adds some nice contrast and nice color. And then also up here on the top with the trees, you can see I painted over that. I dropped the warmth. Um, it was getting a little bit too uh, yellow and I didn't, mm, I, it kind of had a sick, <laughs> sickly feel to it and I didn't, I didn't really want that. Um, I love the reflection on the rocks here. Um, and also on the street, I, I brightened that up just to just fuzz. There's a lot of minute little stuff. So let me run over the settings uh, real, real, real quick for you. I'm not gonna read these off to you just because it would take forever, but um, you can see these, these things take out different colors, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll just quickly go over it. Added a little bit of a vignette, a little bit of grain. Um, details are up just to fuzz, not much. When it's dark like this, you can't really raise those too much. Um, the colors, this is where it gets really in depth. Um, so yeah, I'll just breeze through these. You can pause the video and see if you want to kind of replicate this completely. Totally feel free to do so. Um, so yeah. Obviously all those colors take a lot of tweaking and whew, yeah, it takes a little while, but it's it's really an art once you start learning this. And here you can see like the, the general main settings as well. 
So that's his photo. Um, I, yeah, I can't wait to see how, how he edits it. Um, now it's time for me to edit my own picture and then we'll compare how he edited my picture to mine. Here's the picture that I took. This is the before and <laughs> I have a confession. Um, so I took this picture and I got back and I just, I could not help myself. I had to sit down and edit it. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna re-edit it for you guys and give you like a time lapse of that, but uh, I'm gonna show you how I got to this and why I kind of went for this specific look. Um, so that's the before and this is the after right here. You can see big difference, shoot and raw. Wow, lifesaver. Okay, uh, first thing I did is I cropped it. You can see it was way out of, out of center here. Um, I wanted John, that's my brother right there, John. I wanted him to be dead center in the middle um, before right there, it's about, it's about perfect. So I cropped it in. Um, yeah, going back over the settings, you can see <clears throat> raise the warmth a little bit, exposure up, contrast up, not just tons, but some. When I lowered the highlights and kind of pulled out all of the blues to get that, that warm fall color, um, John's jacket actually, which is white, it turned like super blue with everything else uh, whenever I did that. So what I had to do is I went ahead and I took uh, a mask and I completely masked over his, his jacket and basically just um, raised the, the highlights and the whites to pull back out the, the white color in that and not to have a, a bluish color. All right, and this is where it really gets interesting. Um, so the reds, reds, hues, the luminance, I kind of, I just raised all of that up. I wanted the leaves to really pop. I just wanted them really stand out. Um, also the moss on the log, which is more of an orangish yellowish color. But yeah, I was really going for really fall look for this. So I, I wanted all the greens, all of this stuff. I wanted all of that down. You can see I, I pulled the saturation all the way down on that. Um, I really just wanted the reds and the oranges. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's is kind of boring stuff. So I'll, I'll keep moving on. Um, like I said, no vignette because I didn't want a very mood look. Um, here you can see like the blues. You pull all of those down, the hue, and you get that really warm color. I didn't know this whole, this thing existed down here. Yeah, it, it's a game changer, seriously. Learn how to use this. The before and the after, you can see it really pulled all those all those colors and all the shadows out. Yeah, kind of curious where, where he took it because you can go two different ways with this. All right, so the edits just came in. I just got his email with, with, his, uh, with his edits in it and I'm really excited. So uh, let's take a look and let's compare them. I'll show them on the screen. Um, so we're gonna be first looking at the one with uh, my brother John, which was sitting on, uh, on the log and com kind of comparing them. And I'm not critiquing his, his photos. I'm just simply making observations um, to, to kind of show our differences as filmmakers. You can tell he went for a little bit more of a yellowish orange look. Uh, for his, for the leaves, whereas I went more red. Um, it really goes well with his with his Instagram, which you guys definitely need to follow uh, down in the description. Um, now let's go ahead and look at the one that he sent me to edit. Ha ha ha! Okay, see, this is awesome. This is why I, I love doing this because I love seeing other people's styles and how they take different pictures. I um, mean, you can see like right off the bat, mine is way way more saturated, which is like my personal taste. I kind of embraced all the shadows and like really pulled those down and then made the light like really pop up in those contrasts. Where he kind of did the opposite, where he pulls out the shadows and gets a nice even look to it, which is awesome, I love that. If you wanna see the specific looks that he was going for, with his photos, with like how he did the edits, then you need to go watch his video, uh, which is, we'll be uploading these on the same day. So if you have time, just pop over there, check out how he edited these. And I think it'll make a little bit more sense. I'm going to watch his video. I don't know about you guys, as far as seeing who's better, whose edit was better, that's up to you guys. Um, so comment down below and then just specify like the street one or the the nature sitting on the log one. You'll, you guys will figure it out. Um, if you haven't checked out John's channel, he is very good at photography very good at vlogging, videography, um, he's crushing it. He's close to a thousand. If we can get him to a thousand, that would be amazing. He just released a video about vlogging in public. That blew my mind. John, I'm looking forward to seeing your edit, how you edited these all together. Um, so feel free to bump into that like button, nail that subscribe button, and on your way out, don't forget to ring the bell and comment down below which one, you, which one you're voting for, which one you think was best which e with each specific picture and how you would have edited these pictures if you would have had the chance. So I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Austin, 